So race seven then is the first hurdle race of the week. There's going to be something a little bit wrong there. I think six chases straight off the spin. Unfair on the hurdlers. But let's take a look. And this is the Per Temps Handicap Hurdle Qualifier Leg 2. We had the first leg last week. And it's a 0-140, 15 runners over three miles. And the top one is Jumping Jack Flash, Paul Rhodes, a winner last week. World on Fire for Joshua Sutherland, also a winner last week. Akane Byrne for Martin Leadham, Lady Tinkerbell, Jim Murray, Sir Gerhardt for David Hooney, Bell Ken and Alex Cherry, Eaton Mess, Ryan Tamasemi, Ring of Esteem, Thomas Rogers, Hazel Rig Hawker, Darren Thompson, Mighty Black, Graham Clutterbuck, Winchester, Daniel French, Climbing Shadows, Craig Beckwith, Ernest Stravinsky for Paul Rhodes, Arlene for... Mike Westwood and Zep Nove Marmot for Red Eyes. So 15 of us then in this and called in all 15 of them and away they go. A very, very short run to the first flight, which they've all successfully got to the other side of. And passing the big screen and the chair. And they'll be coming past the winning post very soon. The water jump in the Grand, the Grand National Course. There's the winning post. And we've got two complete circuits of the Liverpool track to go then. Uh, one or two of these are caught very wide and they're going to lose a bit of ground on this sharp turn. The purple jacketed Sir Gerhard is probably going to come out a bit worse. Although Alex Cherry's horse is not going to be doing any favours. Bell Kennan and Winchester is also going to lose a bit of ground. But that one has at least has managed to tuck itself in to the inside rail now. and should be OK for the rest of the race. But it's jumping Jack Flass who's jumped out into a real... Strong lead then by about five lengths, I'd say, to the grey Hazel Rick Hawker, who's just about second. Climbing Shadows is third. On the inside is Arcane Burn in fourth. Then comes Mighty Black and Lady Tinkerbell racing together. Eaton Mess is just ahead of the second pack, if you want to call it that, with uh, Ernest Stravinsky on that one's outside. And Zep Nove Marmot is also next to that one as they take the second. It was a long, long old run to the second flight, wasn't it? But they're all safely over the second. And Jumping Jack Flash is clearing the lead. Only 13 flights in all in this three-mile hurdle. And Jumping Jack Flash is the leader and will get them over flight number three, which they're all safely over. So Jumping Jack Flash it is then still in front as the crowd waving them along with Climbing Shadows moving into second as they get to the fourth. Which they have all successfully negotiated as well. Bell Kennan for Alex Cherry still the one running widest on the track uh, looking towards the back of the field Sir Gerhardt is still the back marker after being wide on that first bend but it's Jumping Jack Flash who's clear in the lead then by five to the second place Mighty Black the grey on the inside is Hazel Rig Hawker the red sleeves and the black body of Lady Tinkerbell as they take the next one good jump there by Achain Burn has seen that one move up into a much closer fourth but it's still Jumping Jack Flash in front Jumping Jack Flash then from Mighty Black, Climbing Shadows and Lady Tinkerbell. And Achain Burn is after that one. And Hazel Rig Hawker. Eaton Mess has moved to the outside. That one's being followed by Ernest Stravinsky. And after that one, Zep Nove Marmot and World on Fire. Arlene is after that one. Then Ring of Esteem on the inside. And Bell Kennan is still just a back marker as they take flight number six. Which they've all successfully negotiated. And Jumping Jack Flash's lead is now down to a little more than two and a half with Mighty Black a closer second as they get over flight number seven I think that's the one that'll be the last time on X circuit with Jumping Jack flashing the lead as they race past their chair then there's a longer running on the hurdles course here at Aintree than there is on the steeplechase course you can see the final one of the wild may fences over there in the distance is uh, not too far away from the winning post which is just past the water jump and it's Jumping Jack Flash is in the lead. Sir Gerhardt has unseated his rider at the back of the field. Um, I don't know if that happened at the last flight and I didn't notice it, or whether it happened on the um, on the flat. But whatever happens, Sir Gerhardt is running along riderless at the back of the pack. So the horse is alright. Let's hope the jockey's not still there sat on the floor when we come round next time. So Jumping Jack Flash is in the lead then by four to Mighty Black in second. Hazel Rig Hawker in third, Nachane Burn is fourth, Eaton Mess is five, and Climbing Shadows is sixth. Lady Tinkerbell is seven, and then Zepno, Marmot, World on Foreign, and Winchester, and then Ernest Stravinsky in Ring of Esteem, Bell Kennan, and finally Arlene in the black with the grey sleeves, or silver sleeves, depending on how you look at it. But it's Jumping Jack Flash in front, then. That's been all the way so far. It's over flight number eight successfully over that one jumping jack flash in front 
Mighty Black second, Hazel Rick Hawker third, Eaton Mess fourth. They're all really beginning to bunch behind this leader now. It was there to be shot at, but it's been in the lead all the way. Gets over flight number nine. Neaton Mess is the one that's creeping out of the pack on the outside that looks to be going best of all though. Hazel Rick Hawker, the grey, is closing in on the leader as they get over flight number 10. And it's now almost three in a line. Jumping Jack Flash, Hazel Rick Hawker and Eaton Mess. They've got three more flights to take and the grey's probably just in front now. Zepno, Marmot has dropped out of it at the back. Arcane Burn has also gone out really quickly after looking to be going well earlier. But they come down towards the final three flights then there. And it's three in a line. Eaton Mess probably just in front. Eaton Mess just leads into this one gets over it nicely good jump by the grey hazel rig hawker jumping jack flashes now of it look at this bell cannon for alex cherry come from the back to throw down a challenge joshua sutherland's horse world on fire is also trying to get into it. it's a wide open race it's bell cannon that's gone on bell cannon takes it up then with two to take bell cannon comes to the final two flights then with a lead of about a length and a quarter but eaton mess is starting to fight back in second world on fire is still there in third also trying to get back into it now is jumping jack flash ernest stravinsky's running on as well they come down towards final two then and it's Bell Cannon on the inside out jumped by Eaton Mess Eaton Mess takes it up it's Eaton Mess who's gone on then from Bell Cannon and the world on fire then Ernest Stravinsky and after that one Hazel Rig Hawker it's surely between these as they get the final flight now really good jump on the outside by world on fire and see world on fire take it up but Ernest Stravinsky's trying to fight back so's Eaton Mess it's another head bobber and they race into the final half furlong it's Eaton Mess who's suddenly looking the stronger but now the grey Hazel Rig Hawker is trying to battle back Eaton Mess needs a line Hazel Rig Hawker getting close it's close, but Eaton Mess has just held on to take it. And Lady Tinkerbell also finished really well. Here's Akane Burn and Zep Nove Marmot finishing together at the back, but uh, it was difficult. You could have picked three. You could have picked three there and had three choices and still got it wrong over the final flight, but Eaton Mess has taken it by a head for Ryan Tamasebi. Hazel Rig Hawker for Darren Thompson. Battle back really well for second. World on five for Joshua Sutherland was third under a big, big weight as well. Fourth was Climbing Shadows for Craig Beckwith. And fifth was a long-time leader, Jumping Jack Flash for Paul Rhodes.